And ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for the children. Normally, the Honorable Minister throws money when children are dancing. Minister of Education, Deputy Minister of Communication and Transport, Feminine Sector is present, the Chairperson of ZIPTA, Directors from various ministries. May I just simply say all protocols observed, welcome. I'd like to start by thanking all of you for the patience exhibited. I know we had a slight change in the program. I know that quite a number of you were seated here early in the morning. And seeing that I, I still see a full room, I'd like to commend you all for this team spirit, which is what we're looking for and we're proud of um, as Zikta, especially as we are sponsoring this project. It's the one spirit we're looking for and we thank you all for coming back this afternoon and being with us. Ordinarily, I would have had a five-page um, speech to read, but I'll try and speak off the cuff. If I stumble in my speech, it's just trying to be intelligent and just show the children that you can speak off cuff, so do forgive me. Some of you might be wondering, um, how is Zikta involved with this project? 
Well, Zikta wears several caps. One of the caps that we wear is as a regulator of the sector. We try and make sure that the service providers, that is those that provide you with mobile connectivity and telephone services, as well as internet service providers, are operating in a conducive environment. The other thing we try to do is ensure that you, the consumer, are protected and that you're receiving uh, value for money for the services that you are paying for. On the other hand, we also wear another cap, the act that we operate under, which came into being in 2009, mandates us to help the government in developing the ICT sector of Zambia. So under that ha uh, hat, we have a program called Universal Access, which is a fund that was created under the act um, with the view of trying to ensure that we develop ICTs in unserved and underserved areas in Zambia. As you will all recall, a couple of years back um, in our communities, when you had a bicycle, you had a prestigious lifestyle. Everybody envied you because that was one mode of communication which was lacking in a lot of places. Most people would walk for miles on end to communicate or to reach other places. But today, having a bicycle is just one of those issues. We've migrated to driving all kinds of cars and in the recent past, we've all migrated to having cell phones, which once upon a time was a luxury, but now is a necessity. Well, it is from that perspective as Zikta that we would like to see the enhancement of technology by ensuring that access to ICTs, whether through the use of computers, cell phones, is a way of life, is a necessity and not a luxury. One of the things that's very clear from the brochures you have seen, our country geographically is very widespread, but the central point of um, development has been along the line of rail, which does not represent the mass of the population. Um, Zikta, under the Universal Access Program, is trying to make sure that the areas that have been neglected, which is the unserved areas, are also brought up to speed with what is happening in the urban areas. And it is because of that that the Universal Access Program will see the birthing of a lot of projects. We intend to commu uh, connect communities, that is ensure that we set up multi-facility centers in the um, rural areas. We intend to ensure that all research centers are connected to internet. We intend to also carry out programs that help um, improve the livelihood of people through the use of ICTs. Now, the various projects that we undertake and cannot all be launched on every single project, but we thought that one of the major projects, which is the Connecting Learning Institutions, should be launched because it's quite special and dear to, our, to us. When you talk about improving the lifestyle and social well-being of children, um, you have to agree with all of us, it makes us proud because the children that are going to have access to computers or ICT through the connecting of learning institutions would definitely represent a better tomorrow. And as Zikta, we're very proud to be associated with tomorrow's success. So as we sit here, may I just simply thank you all for coming through to witness this launch of the project. And without wasting too much of um, your time, I will allow the MC to come back and follow through with the program. Good afternoon, Honorable Minister of Education, Ms. Dora Sinia Eoki, Deputy Minister of uh, Communication and Transport, Mr. Mubika Mubika, Permanent Secretaries, Excellencies, Ambassadors, High Commissioners, and heads of international institutions, if any, senior government officials, representatives of learning institutions, members of the press, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Zambia Information and Communication Technology Authority Board, its management and staff, it gives me a great pleasure to welcome you all this momentous occasion. As you are aware, Zikta has been mandated under the ICT Act 
to establish a universal access fund whose objective is to finance projects that promote and provide infrastructure, ICT infrastructure and services to all unserved and underserved areas, particularly in the rural areas of our country. This implies that the authority must employ various strategies in order to meet the expectations of the Zambians and respond to our government policy. One such strategy is the financing of multiple tele centers in various parts of our country, including Mongu, Kulungu, Prokoso, Macha, just to mention but a few. The purpose of these multi-purpose centers is to provide easy communication for our economic actors who include business people, traders, and farmers. The second strategy involves ZICTA through, through ZICTA to partner with the private sector to construct over 200 communication towers throughout Zambia. This is empowering Zambians all over the country to have access to information through the mobile telephony and internet. The third strategy is in the area of knowledge through providing the last mile connectivity to the University of Zambia and also the Copper Belt University through optic fiber for education as well as research. Honorable Minister, Deputy Minister, ladies and gentlemen, recently our board approved a five-year strategic plan for the period of 2011 to 2015 to implement a more aggressive universal access program. Recognizing the critical importance of investing in the future of our nation and the critical role of ICTs in delivering education services, ZICTA, under our ministry's supervision, have decided to finance Connecting Learning Institutions project, which is being launched today. The objective of this project includes enhancing quality of learning through enabling access to online educational resources to both teachers as well as pupils. Also to impart ICT skills and knowledge to teachers as well as lecturers to enable them effectively and efficiently deliver lessons to students which, with the aid of ICTs. The third objective is to build capacity among our teachers in schools and colleges and administrators to ensure maintenance of the ICT infrastructure that is donated so that we can sustain the project. The project will provide ICT facilities and connectivity to internet to, internet to over 190 <laughs> learning institutions countrywide within the next 12 months. Those to benefit under this project will include two schools in each district, which will include one basic school and one high school and a few colleges. The beneficiary institutions will each receive a computer laboratory which will contain 40 computers and will add two additional ones for management and administrators. The authority will also provide free internet for the first 12 months after the installation of the lab. Included also in the project is the training of the teachers as well as administrators in the effective maintenance of the infrastructure so that at least they can maintain the infrastructure even if they are outside rural or urban uh, townships where they have uh, support. So they would be supporting and maintaining the equipment themselves. Honorable Minister and Deputy Minister, 
the support from Zikta comes with the responsibility on the part of the beneficiaries fishing. They will be expected to provide security and also general safeguarding of all the resources that will be availed to them. They will nominate the teachers and also the administrators that will need to be trained so that they can manage these resources. They will also sensitize the school community